feeling that half the stuff Yoko said yesterday isn't... I mean, she was talking for John. And I don't think he really believed any of that, you know. No, it's, it's just it. John didn't talk. You see, Yoko talked for John. Did George stay? In the middle of all of that, actually, George went. So well, I'll see you. See, but their point is that they, they're trying to, like, be as near together as they can. They want to stay together, those two. So it's all right, let the young lovers stay together. But it's not that bad, you know. We've got a lot out of people. So that it... I think John's saying now, obviously, it came to a push between Yoko and the Beatles. It's Yoko, you know. But funny enough, the other day when we were talking, John said that he really did not want not to be a beat. Yeah. <laughs> were you writing together much more before she came around? Oh, yeah, or sure. You, yeah. We've called it because we were not playing together. Because, I mean, we lived together when we played together. We were in the same hotel, up at the same time every morning, all day. As long as you're this close all day, mm. so something grows. And then when you're not this close all day, just physically, something goes. Right. Actually, musically, you know, we, we can play better than we've ever been able to play, you know. We're, 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 we're all right on that. It's just that being together thing, you know. But it's difficult starting right from scratch with you up there, because... I started on writing songs about white walls, just because I, you know, just because I think she, John and Yoko would like that, you know, and they wouldn't, you know. She's great. She really is all right. They just want to be near each other, you know. So you, it, I just think it's just silly of me or anyone to try and mm. say to them, "No, you can't." You know, oh, no. it's like it's like that. We're like we're striking because work conditions aren't right, you know. But it shouldn't be. Can't right. operate under these conditions, boy. You know, we're coming out. It's like they're going overboard about it. But John always does, you know. And you can't go saying, be sensible about it and don't bring it to meetings. You know, it's his decision. Mm. That it's none of our business, like, interfering.